Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning. Who do I have in the studio with me on the Valder BB show? This is Kathy Helmick. And Randy Gross. Thank you guys so very much. And we'll start, we'll start with you, Kathy. Tell me what you know that we need to know. Well, what I know that you need to know is that what traumatic brain injury is. And a TBI is a blow or a jolt to your head that causes a disruption in your normal brain functioning. And the most common type of traumatic brain injury is a concussion. And most people are well aware that concussion is on the national landscape. It's been an issue that's been talked about uh, recently. And we are here to start to let people know about a national campaign, a national conversation we would like to have through our hashtag Think Ahead campaign. Okay, Randy? Yes. Would you piggyback off of that? Oh, I'd be happy to. So um, the hashtag campaign is really so that we can not only have the discussion, but we want individuals to be safe. Um, we want them to know the signs, and then if they have experienced something like that, we want them to seek help. So the, uh, the, the paramount thing here is that if you have had an incident to where you think you've had a TBI, go seek help. Go follow your doctor's advice and make a full recovery from that. What organization do you represent? I'm sorry, I didn't ask yet. We represent the Defense and Veterans Brain Injury Center. It's known as DIVBIC, and we are the Defense Department's Traumatic Brain Injury Center of Excellence. Why are we now just talking about traumatic brain injuries? They've been happening for a long time, but now we're seeing movies, we're seeing doctors come forward. Why now? Well, the, tra the Defense and Veterans Brain Injury Center has been around since 1992. And we have grown working with partners. The conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan had really put a spotlight into the invisible wounds of war. And we've been looking at traumatic brain injury with a lot more folks on board to collaborate with. So we have evolved the field in the last little bit in terms of how people are evaluated and taking the research that we're learning into changing how people are cared for it after they have a traumatic brain injury. If you are a loved one that your loved one has come home to you with this traumatic brain injury, what do you do? Do you live differently? Do you do things differently? Where's the support? So the support really starts at home, you know? It's, it's not always the individual that has sustained the concussion that, that recognizes the effects. It could be that loved one that, that notices maybe they're not sleeping well at night. Um, perhaps they're having headaches or their memory loss. They don't remember where they put the keys. Um, what we want them to do is we want them to go see their doctor and let the doctor know the full happenings of, of how they sustain this and follow the advice of the doctor. Now, one thing we really want to key point is that we are doing our hashtag Think Ahead campaign. Um, that is through the Defense and Veterans Brain Injury Center, through Ahead for the Future. And we want people to go on our website, uh, dvbic.dcoe.mil. Fill out one of these hashtag cards and take a selfie with it. That's going to start our national and international conversation about prevention, recognition, and recovery of traumatic brain injuries. Kathy, back to you. Since you said that many of these uh, brain injuries are from the wars or war veterans, what is the veteran? How does the veteran administration play into this? Well, the Veterans Administration is not under my purview, but I can tell you that the Defense Department works very closely with the Dep Department of Veteran Affairs in collaboration to ensure that service members and veterans have the state-of-the-science care. And we are learning a lot through our 
deep uh, commitment that the Department of Defense has had to further advancing care and research in traumatic brain injury. Thank you for that. Mark, as I wrap up, where would you send my audience? Just maybe they're one of these people living with this person. And they need, when, you, when someone's sick in your household, you look for every answer you can find. Where would you send them? That's right. So I guess I would start off by putting DivBIC or Defense and Veterans Brain Injury Center into your web browser and then going to our website. Um, through our website, you'll actually be able to go on to education materials. Um, you'll, you'll be able to see what physicians are saying in the state of the science and get a better understanding of the signs and the symptoms of a concussion. And after in doing so, go seek medical treatment. I want to thank both of you, Kathy and Mark, for bringing this information directly to our audience of the Valder BB Show. I'm sure it will help change someone's life. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, and have a good day.